In this video, I'll share a few of the best WooCommerce at checkout plugins available on the market today. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first on our list is All-in-One at Checkout for WooCommerce by AOV Up. I'm slightly biased, but with this particular plugin, you can optimize your WooCommerce checkouts. You can customize the field using our drag and drop editor. You can create one click um, order bumps, you can create dynamic offers, multi-step checkout and so much more okay. So for example you can create a side card similar to this one and you can customize it to ensure that it match your brand identity. If you want you can create multi-step checkout, you can create a Shopify like design as well and you've also got an option to actually create a custom styled design at checkout from scratch and we'll get into that in just a second. Okay, as I said, we can create relevant offers to the right customer. We can rearrange the checkout fields to match your particular scenario, okay? And it's all drag and drop with our visual builder. Okay, so if you wanna give this plugin a try, just head over to aovup.com and go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard and have a quick look at this plugin. Okay, so I've already got it installed and activated. So I'm just gonna to navigate to AIO checkout here for all-in-one checkout. Okay, and then we're just gonna click create new checkout form. So this is the first step in reimagining your checkout experience, right? So it all starts with the fields. So again, based on the country that you sell in, based on what you sell in, maybe some of these fields, you don't need it. Maybe you don't need the phone information so you can just X this off. Or maybe you need a extra field, right? So maybe you need, maybe you need to add a multi checkbox, right? So you can ask various questions such as how did you discover us, et cetera, et cetera. And this will help um, feed back into your marketing loop, okay? So we can customize the fields. As I said, we can, you can add new fields, rearrange the fields, right? So let's say for example, um, so typically we've got the first name then a the last name here. Maybe we want the first name to have its own row, okay? So we can navigate to appearance and then we can just change this to full width, right? Or we can just change it back to half, but hopefully you get the idea. So the billing section, we can totally rearrange it. Okay, we can just drag and drop everything. Maybe we want to change this into a multi-step checkout. So we can just click this um, plus icon here to add a new step. And if we want, we can go ahead and drag and drop this billing field onto step two, for example. Okay, and that's been added onto step two here. We can create numerous different steps. We can change the title of the step by clicking on this icon here. So we could say payments, for example. Okay, we can also change the step name for this one here. Okay, if we go to products, we can automatically add a product to the customer's um, at checkout. Again, this strategy varies based on your particular store setup, okay? So we'll skip over products and we'll navigate to design. So as I said, you can select from our pre-designed um, templates. So you can use your theme default template or you can use one of our templates. There'll be more in the future as well. Or you can create a completely new template, okay? Now I'm just gonna click on this template here. It's the same scenario for the thank you page as well. So again, we can use the theme default thank you page, or you can use one of our custom design thank you pages, or you can actually create a thank you page from scratch. Okay, so now let's navigate to settings. We can enable this checkout. We can give it a name, and we can also set it as our global checkout. So we'll call this one um, default checkout. Again, the checkout name is just for internal purposes. And the slug, we can leave it blank. Again, based on your store strategy, you might wanna add a slug and then maybe add a product to this particular checkout. And then whenever you create an email campaign, you can send customers directly to the checkout page with the product already preloaded in the checkout. Okay, but for this scenario, we'll just ignore the slug for now. So we can create different experience based on our user group, right? So for example, maybe you wanna have a default checkout for your retail customers, and then maybe you can actually create a specific um, checkout for your wholesale customers, right? Because the requirement might be slightly different. So with this particular plugin, you can do just that, okay? And then you just select a specific user role here. And then for example, we can select wholesale customer, meaning this particular checkout will only display for our wholesale customer, okay? So it's super powerful. And so I'm just gonna X this off here. And I'm just going to set it to everyone. Reset this as our global checkout. Okay, so if we quickly navigate over to our checkout page here. So by default, WooCommerce says place order. 
So we can customize that button here. So we can say complete purchase, for example, okay? And um, we can close our checkout after X amount of orders, or we can close it after a specific date. Again, this is super powerful whenever you create in. So again, you can create multiple different checkout forms. And if you're running a special promotion, you can create a dedicated checkout form for that particular promotion. As I said, just preload the product onto that checkout at a unique URL here, right? And then you can send it out to your list. And then after a specific date, so if the, if the promotion is supposed to be finished five days from now, you can automatically set that particular checkout to close um, within that date period, okay? We can enable Google address autocomplete, right? By enabling this option here. So it just speeds up the checkout process for your customers, meaning there's less information for them to input, meaning a higher conversion rate, right? So with this basic setup out of the way, we can go ahead and hit save changes. Okay, that's saved fine. And now we can refresh our checkout page. Okay, so straight away, this is looking a lot cleaner. We've got our Shopify inspired um, checkout design here. It also looks great on smaller devices. So if we go ahead and click this here, you can see it's fully mobile already, right? Okay, so let's head back over to our dashboard and let's see what else we can actually do with this particular plugin. Okay, so let's head back over to the main dashboard area. As I showed earlier on in the intro, we can create a mini cart and we can customize our mini cart here. So a lot of these settings, I won't go through every single settings, right? We've got numerous different videos um, showing you how to actually fully utilize this particular plugin. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview so we can customize the design, as I mentioned, right? Of our um, mini cart, we can enable direct checkout, meaning instead of customers having to go through the flow of adding the product to cart, viewing the cart page and then checking out we can just bypass the cart page and take customers directly to the checkout page. Okay, we can create um, order bumps and also pop up upsells as well, right, from this area here. Um, so for example, if I click on this one here, here we've got an offer um, for this particular um, upsell. And then we can customize the design. We can specify the condition as well. Okay, so I'm going to X this off. And then let's navigate over to settings here. And then we can have a quick look at a few general settings okay so we can allow cart editing on a checkout page we can automatically close the checkout page we can add a countdown timer which can automatically close the checkout page after that time as elapsed right and if we scroll down we can add a animation to our add to cart button we can add our logo customize our logo and a few other settings right we can add a google recapture key to our checkout page and here's where we'll enable our google address autocomplete feature. So this is a quick overview of the all-in-one at checkout plugin. So next on our list is this checkout field manager plugin for WooCommerce by Quad Layers, okay? So let's dive into this plugin. So first I'm just gonna copy the plugin name and then let's head over to our dashboard and let's navigate to plugins and then add new. And then we'll just search for this particular plugin. Okay, it's this one here, so we'll install. Okay, so we've installed and activate this checkout field manager plugin. So now let's navigate to WooCommerce and then settings. And now we'll click on this checkout tab. Okay, and then here we've got a few options. So we can force the customer shipping address to the billing address. We can force them to create an account first. Okay, we can remove the order notes. Okay, and we can add a message before the checkout um, and after the checkout, okay? So when we click on billings, we've got a few other customizations here as well. Okay, we can move the field up or down. We can also drag and drop it. Okay, so we can drag and drop the fields to rearrange it. Okay, we can also disable the field. Okay, we can set it as required as well. And then if we click edit, we can customize the placeholder, the description, and we can add additional class to this particular field. Okay, okay, and then we've got some pro features here as well. Okay, so hopefully you kind of get the idea. It's the same thing with the shipping field. Okay, so in the additional tab, we can actually add additional fields here. Okay, and then we've got some premium options. So it's similar to the all-in-one at checkout plugin by AOV Up in terms of the checkout field customization. And next on our list is direct checkout for WooCommerce. And yep, just like the name suggests, it allows you to skip the cart page and send customers directly to the checkout page. Let's install this plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new. 
and then we'll go ahead and search for this particular plugin. Okay, so now that's activated, when we go to WooCommerce, we've got this new option here, which says Direct Checkout. Okay, so we've got a few options here, which, um, so for example, we can disable the Add to Cart um, a notification that you'll typically see. We can disable the Add to Cart link, and we can add a redirection whenever a customer adds a product to their cart, okay? So we can redirect them to the checkout page or to a custom URL, which we can enter in here. So we can replace the cart URL with our checkout page URL or a custom URL. We can customize the add to cart text, okay? And we can choose which product type we can customize this text for. So it can be single products, group products, virtual, variable products, or downloadable products. Okay, so fourth on our list is this multi-step checkout for WooCommerce which as the name suggests, it allows you to create a multi-step checkout, okay? So if we scroll down, we can have a quick look at the screenshots, okay? So let's quickly install this plugin and have a look. And then under WooCommerce, we've got this new option which says multi-step checkout, okay? And then here we can choose which step to show. So we can show the shipping step, so we can show the login step, we can also show the billing and shipping step together. We can show the order and payment step together as well. And then here we've got some other options as well, okay? So let's navigate over to design and see what options we've got. Okay, so we can change um, the main color, which is good. As for the templates, we've only got the default templates. You'll need a pro version to unlock these other two templates, okay? But for now, we can just change the main color. So it's quite limited in terms of customization. But if you just want to show a multi-step checkout, it might be what you want, okay? Let's just save changes and let's have a look on our checkout page now. Okay, so let's refresh this page. Okay, and this is how our multi-step checkout looks, okay? That's it for our multi-step checkout. And last but not least, we'll have a look at checkout WC, okay? You can head over to checkoutwc.com. And with this plugin, it's quite similar to the all-in-one checkout plugin. In terms of you can create a optimized checkout, a side cart, order bump. It's got a few templates as well. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this particular plugin. So I've already got it installed on our store. So let's have a look at the back end, okay? Okay, so once you've purchased a plan from WC from Checkout WC, you'll have this option here where first you'll activate your license key, you'll choose a template, customize your logo, review the page and set it to live. Okay, so I'm just going to navigate to appearance here. And then from here, we can choose from one of their checkout designs. Okay, okay, so for example, we've got this groove template active. And if we click on design, we can actually customize the design. And if we click on design, we've got a few customization options here. So we've got um, our logo field. We can customize our footer text. We can customize the typography. We can customize the color of um, certain text and buttons, which is good. Okay, let's navigate to pages. Okay, so under pages, um, we can disable or enable certain fields on our checkout page. Okay, so for example, we can disable the cart step, we can disable the shipping. Okay, we can hide the coupon field, we can enable the full name field. Okay, for the billing fields, we get to choose which fields we want to show or hide. Okay, and then for auto completion, so that currently they're using Google address autocomplete. There's also this Fetchify um, option and Smarty option here as well. And we've got some other options here in terms of in terms of showing the coupon field on the mobile device and also enabling the card logos on the mobile device as well. Um, so again, I won't go through all of this. We've got some side cards customization here. We can customize um, the position of the cart. We can hide it if it's empty as well. Let's go to order bump. Let's see the order bump section. So we can manage the order bump here and we can click add new okay we've got a few display options here and then we can add our offer here as well and that's a quick look at a few of the best woocommerce checkout plugins that you can try on your site today as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below 
or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.